going 0-2 means you're just not good right now. You're just not prepared and you're currently not a good team, right? We hold ourselves to a pretty high standard and 0-2 is pretty unacceptable, so we're going to have to put in a lot more work this week. Dude, have you guys seen Sky High? You know the evil guy in Sky High? Yes, I'm yeah, 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 gym, bro. You know what I'm talking about? I thought like the nice guy was evil. Oh, this right? guy? Yeah. <laughs> We're about to play 100 Thieves and tomorrow we'll be going up against Optic Gaming. This will be the first week that I'll be up on stage with ThinkHard. The two of us will be going up there as the strategic coach and head coach. What do the assistant coaches do if there's two on each side? Do they shake hands? Uh, let me check. They fist fight. They have to fist fight. I'm feeling pretty good. My practice has been Okay this week, was not too great, but uh, still feeling confident going in. Quick root, a pullback on Shogat, but look at the engage, they're having to go for that one, and down goes Hooney. The biggest tank is gone already, and Al sort of follow. Two for zero into the base, they run 100 Thieves, looking for a very quick one in this one. 28 minutes and rushing down absolutely everything. The turrets fall the inhibitor will drop as well. 100 Thieves sure to take this one down. We weren't allowed to play too aggressively in the 100 Thieves game. We were actually inhibited a lot by how the enemy jungler, who was Poppy, was playing. He had a really good matchup, and we didn't see the matchup coming up, so I think it was really well prepared for 100 Thieves to have that pick ready for us. It's just an unplayable game for my POV. Just had no, I just had no, I just had nothing to play from, nothing to play for. After losing to 100 Thieves, I'm feeling pretty annoyed, I guess. I'm, I think hopefully going into the next game tomorrow, everyone's gonna really realize that this loss is pretty unacceptable, and playing against Optic will turn it around. <laughs> You're a beast, dude. You broke it, dude. You're a beast. We are here to bring you Echo Fox versus Optic, plus some other stuff later on, but this first one should be pretty exciting. So we had a really strong early game. We flexed the Aatrox, which gave us a strong match up top, and our mid lane had a pretty good matchup as well. And first blood goes to PoE. Acadian can't get himself over the wall. It could be a two for one, and Echo Fox will mop him up. It ended up going poorly when we overextended bottom in a 4v5. Echo Fox daring Optic to come in and sound the Acadian goes into the pit, drops the limbs respite. This is gonna be a madhouse as Dordok grabs the kill onto Acadian. Elder Drake taken very low, gonna be secured by Arrow of all people. And now Echo Fox have to try to get themselves away. Optic find an incredible punish. Optic Gaming found the one fight they needed. They found it in style and they found themselves knocking down the Nexus of Echo Fox. talk about something. I don't think we should just sit here and quiet. It's not good for anybody. It felt like we were just like either winning if I landed spell or just losing if I lost. Yeah. It felt like not much else was happening. So going 0-2, um, it's always disappointing. I've been here before. Um, an 0-2 week always like, you know, gets you down. But I think what has to change for next week for our team would just be making our practice way more efficient. The practice that you put in every single day you know, 12 hours a day, that, that's gonna matter more than, you know, the stage performance. The pressure that we'll be feeling on Saturday and Sunday is probably, it probably correlates to the amount of work we've put in during the week. This weekend we play up against Team Liquid and Clutch Gaming. Yeah, this weekend is gonna be probably the most important because we are in a win or go home kind of scenario, yeah. What do you think is their biggest strength as a team? Why why would any team fear playing Echo Fox? When I play against them, like I don't know what's gonna happen. Like <laughs> maybe one day they're gonna play really macro game, one day they just wanna fight, like we have no idea. But when we when I play against like one day Siege, like strategy, C9, like we know what enemy wanna do. Like Echo Fox, I don't know. <laughs> just just do it. Yeah, it's definitely a strength that nobody knows what we're gonna do on Echo Fox. It's like the general consensus, at least it has been since like sprint mid spring, was that no any LCS team would like to play versus us in the best of five. And since we have such blatantly strong positions in every role now, I think that 
uh, we can do much more straightforward drafts. Our pools are still really deep and we can still play anything. Yeah, I think especially when playoffs in BO5 come around, it's gonna be a huge advantage for our team. Scrims are going really well. Everyone still is super confident in each other and we still feel like we're stronger than both Team Liquid and Clutch. And we still feel like we're the best team in NA and we will be when playoffs comes around. Whoever shows up better on the day is obviously always gonna win. So we're just doing our best to prepare for the weekend. How you doing? What a cutie. It's gonna be alright. Yeah. Don't worry about a thing. Who sings that? It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. About a thing. Worry about a thing. Cause every little thing. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Peace.